In response to wildfire challenges, EPRI has created a one-of-a-kind test laboratory to evaluate new and emerging technologies and de-risk them prior to adoption. The lab increases our understanding of the interaction between the TND system and wildfires. The lab evaluates the performance of new technologies considering the full asset life cycle, from specification and the required testing to life expectancy and inspection and assessment practices. Comprehensive evaluations are performed in the wildfire lab and when confidence is sufficient, pilot projects are implemented with utilities. The pilot projects are well monitored and documented with the results being shared across a broad range of utilities. Let's review some testing examples from the EPRI wildfire lab. In the simulation, wet and dry branches are bridging two phase conductors while the system is monitored by a number of detection and protection technologies. Arcing can be seen on the moist branch followed by a flashover. In this case, the precursor events were minimal and difficult to detect. Here, a branch bridges a 12 kV line and initiates an event. The flashover induces conductor slap and another flashover on another span. In this test, a conductor failure is initiated by a conductor coverings being in place at a flashover location. Note the resulting molten metal particles dropping to the ground. A live downed conductor lies on moist vegetation. The protection and monitoring systems were challenged to detect this as the currents are in the milliamp range. Ignition of some of the vegetation can be seen. Mylar balloons coming into contact with the distribution line and the resulting flashover is simulated. One of the balloons that falls to the ground remains alight and increases the risk of ignition. A line configuration is subjected to an arc flash. The configuration is inspected after the test to determine whether the components catch a light due to the event and pose and increased ignition risk. A wildlife guard is tested for flammability. As you can see, the molten plastic, which is still alight, falls to the ground, increasing ignition risk. A fire resistant cable is subjected to a flame. When the flame is removed, the cable does not remain alight. However, the overhead insulator on the right hand side does remain alight. The EPRI wildfire lab has been providing insights and a technical basis for utilities to address wildfires for a number of years and will continue to do so into the future. <laughs>